This is Twit. So Chrome has added a uh, password checkup extension. You have to install it, which I did immediately. And it will say, as mine does right now, none of the recent passwords you've entered were detected in a data breach. So it's a little bit different. It's not ah, per site. Nice. It's actually yep. looking at... And they make a big point about how um, they're using uh, technology that they developed uh, with uh, Stanford University with the help of cryptography researchers to keep to keep your privacy safe. You know, the passwords aren't getting sent to Google, that kind of thing. So um, I don't think they're using Have I Been Pwned, it sounds like. They and, probably and, have their well, own database. And, and, and is it a uh, a Chrome, I mean, a Google extension yes. from? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's oh, from Google. Yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. So you can do this well, in and, Google as well. Of course, what's cool is that the Google, if you if you have your your Chrome browser saving your site's passwords for you, then it's got a local database of the of the you know password, and sometimes your username will be your email address right. and so forth. So now I don't do that, of course, because mm -hmm. I use LastPass. Right. But uh, apparently, it's still monitoring as you enter them or as they get entered. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. And they do cross well, cross account protection and stuff, so it's kind of cool. Very cool. Yeah. Well, and so the second picture that we have, uh, so my, <laughs> the I, I gave the first picture, the the title Firefox warned me, and so I titled the second one, and so did Chrome. Although this was a different one, which is our first story. I like this though. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, this shows that P, P A Y, P A I. Dot com has been entered into the URL bar of Chrome, and there's a drop down saying, Did you mean to go to http colon slash slash paypal.com? I'm not sure why they didn't do https yeah, that's colon slash slash. Yeah. That's interesting, but um, <clears throat> so uh, and it's so, a link, so you could click it and it would. You yes. could say, oh, take, whoops, yes. <laughs> yep, take, yeah, that was a typo. I meant, yeah, exactly. So you click and you go to the right place. Okay, so a bit of terminology first. Typo squatting, which is what this practice is of, of bad guys registering lookalike uh, or typo bit like P-A-Y-P-A-I dot com and hoping that there, you know, some percentage of people are going to type I rather than L and go there and then they'll and so what they'll do is they'll set up a fake looking PayPal site and say, oh, uh, you're you haven't used this machine for or you haven't registered before this machine or blah, you know, one way or the other, they will spoof you into getting you to give them their your credential, your PayPal credentials, believing that that's where you are and then you're in trouble. So um, <clears throat> this so-called typo squatting is formerly known as an an IDN homograph attack, uh, IDN being international domain name, uh, but you know typo squatting is a lot catchier. Similarly, although I think <clears throat> that URL spell checking is clear, Google calls their forthcoming technology navigation suggestions for lookalike URLs. I don't think that has a catchy abbreviation. N S F L U. This flu. This oh, yeah. <laughs> flu. Yeah. So uh, it's under active experimentation with the Canary release, which is at 70 now uh, in Chrome. And if all goes as planned, it will be appearing in mainstream release before long. You know, they like to sort of roll these things out incrementally, which is a good thing. Actually, we're going to be talking about Firefox here in a minute where they did something <laughs> that they rolled out and caused a whole bunch of unexpected problems. So it makes sense to test, you know, to like to, to have a uh, as, as Firefox does a nightly build channel. And in, this, in the case of Chrome, they have their canary release, which, you know, precedes the, the rollout to the public by some length of time, depending. So if you're on the canary circuit, you can enable this feature if you want to play with it. Uh, under Chrome colons forward slash forward slash flags, it's enable lookalike URL navigation suggestions. And of course, you would. I think. And it, I, I think I went there, and it just said default, which is a little unclear. It'd be nice if it said whether that meant yes or no. But anyway, you could set it to enable, and then maybe you'd see some of that. Um, the uh, oh, and 
I, I also noted that the flag, because I'm not on the Canary Circuit, but mine had that. So I'm in the just released stable Chrome 72. It had the flag, but it doesn't appear to be wired up yet. So if you are on the stable release and you do go there and you turn it on and then you experimentally type in PayPi, P, you know, PAI.com, and nothing happens. It's like, well, yeah, there. Apparently, the flag is there, but it's a do nothing. It hasn't been connected yet. So we'll get there. And I think that's great. I mean, we're 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 beginning to see a number of these reactions to long-standing problems, um, where where the browser developers are saying, you know, we we just can't bury our heads in the sand here. You know, users are being tricked and and hurt. By, by clever bad guys leveraging common behaviors, which technically is not our, the browser's responsibility. If someone says, I want PAYPAI.com, darn it, well, we should take them there. It's like, well, yes, but let's just make sure they didn't mean the much more common PayPal. And the beauty of of the position that, of course, Chrome is in is they know exactly how many people go to paypal.com versus paypie.com. And they can say, oh, you know, the chances are very good that this person actually meant PayPal. So yeah. I think this is a fabulous uh, enhancement. I feel like and, I've seen that before, but maybe I haven't. Because uh, Well, uh, and the other thing, too, is that I guess people still type in URLs manually, but that's sort of fallen by the wayside too. I mean, aren't we just mostly yeah. clicking on yeah. stuff? Yeah. You know, it's like, when was the last time you had to like manual? I mean, I don't even trust myself to enter a URL. Besides, they're not friendly anymore. They, they've got like GUIDs built into them where it's 326957.3-4729. It's like, okay, I can't enter that. Just, you know, give me a link to click. So, you know, so the U in fact, we may see the ultimately the URL become sort of more obscure. And it's like, well, do you really want to enter this by hand? Because, you know, that's only for like sophisticated users who, you know, like, okay. 